episode 17 of This Is My 60. Kind of lost my mojo in October with so little keyboard related output, I made Mashdrop look like Foxconn a few weeks before Christmas. Our first board is also one of the few submissions I've had to this series. If you hate Reddit but want the world to see your keyboard, check the description for details. I feel like this chocolate tofu and SA chocolatier are mocking me since I had to send mine back for being the wrong colour. The finish of the tofu has garnered a lot of praise and if KBD fans can bring the same level of quality to their fulfilment and keep Gary out of it, it'll win them even more fans. All together now, why didn't I buy GMK Samurai? Not only is this a really cool photo and yet another sweet looking E6 V2, but it might be the most expensive photo we've had. Not everyone gets the attraction of 60% and even fewer people are down with high end artisans, but this is clearly a treasured collection and the title of the initial post on Reddit might just be warranted. If you took a keyboard like this to your office, how would your coworkers react? Would they throw covetous glances at your blatant display of desktop dominance? Would they long to warm their hands in the glow of those LEDs? Would they dream about a near tantric session of data entry using your sensual amarantine masterpiece? Maybe not, but you probably shouldn't let their filthy phalanges anywhere near it. The thought of typing on XDA might have you reaching for your Xazapam, and a set themed after Scrabble may seem positively quixotic. The only really wanted to maximize the effect with the wooden case, which takes some chutzpah. This set is fairly unique for theme sets in that it actually got support from Hasbro. I'm pretty sure we'll never see Nintendo or Disney backed key sets. XDA seems to have had a lot of really cool theme sets. I'm just not sure I'd like to actually type on the profile though. We've seen Tina in many guises on this series, but she's going plateless this time. I hear it's totally cool to do that at beaches in Europe. Don't stare at that Zeal 60, it's rude. A controversial choice of keycap is another interesting part of this build. And if you want to hear this user's thoughts on the plateless build, check out his blog for some great and very detailed analysis. I love overhead shots like this with some signs of life thrown in. No mean stuff in the comments, please. ISO users are people too. The ever popular five degree case with some tasty GMK accents and some minimalistic Muji stationery. It's a well-known fact that stationery and keyboards go together like fried noodles and bread. Uh, I mean, a strawberry and whipped cream sandwich. Look, they go together, okay? Hopefully I can have a better November than October, and if you feel like submitting your keyboard, be sure to read the unbendable rules in the description. I'll see you next time.